Hi guys, today I will be sharing how to make creamy pineapple jelly. For the ingredients we need, one and a half cup of water, three tablespoons of unflavored gelatin, three packs of um, pineapple jelly, which is 85 grams each, one pack of cream cheese, um, pineapple slices, I only use one can, um, evaporated milk, condensed milk, glazed cherries and one and a half teaspoon of vanilla we also need half a cup of sugar so begin by um following the direction on how to make jelly but i put less water so this is three cups of hot boiling water and then i added less cold water i added um 300 ml of cold water just to make the jelly firm and now I my pan is non-stick but to to make sure that um, the jelly will come out I'm spraying a little bit of um, cooking spray into the pan you can use oil and then just rub the excess oil using a paper towel just like this We will add a little bit of the pineapple jelly into the jelly pan, not a lot, and then we will put this in the fridge or freezer for about 15 minutes. And while the jelly is setting, we'll prepare the pineapple, we'll cut this in half. Once the jelly is a little bit set, we can start um, putting the pineapple slices cut side facing up just like this then continue um, putting the pineapple until you um, reach all the grooves of the jelly pan you don't have to use a jelly pan like this you could use any mold that you have and now we're gonna add the glazed cherries glazed cherries is optional but um we use it for added um, decoration and um, it holds the pineapple and keeps the pineapple in place. At this point, we will add more um, pineapple jelly. Um, you need to reserve one and a half cup of pineapple jelly. We're gonna use that for later. Again, this will go back in the fridge to set while we're gonna move on to the um, creamy part of the jelly. So I've got one and a half cups of water here and then I added the three cups of a three tablespoon of um, unflavored gelatin. Mix this and we will set this aside. So I'm just gonna use my spatula to um, mix my creamy jelly and a whisk. You could use a blender, that would be easier. But I want my um, jelly to be smooth so I don't want to create too much air. So to do this process, just make sure that your cream cheese is at room temperature. Now I'm adding the sugar. And then I'm gonna continue to mix. Now I will add one and a half teaspoon of um, vanilla. Just take your time to um, mix this because we don't want um, lumps of cream cheese. But if in case it does have lumps, you can strain it later. Now I'm adding the condensed milk. And then mix again. Now we can add the evaporated milk.
Now I'm gonna use my whisk just to make sure that everything is um mixing well. Now my gelatin has bloomed. I'm gonna remelt it in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds. And I will add this to the creamy um mixture. Now we will set this aside while we wait for the um, pineapple jelly to set. Now my pineapple jelly is set. Um, we're ready to put the second layer. Now as you can see here, my um, creamy jelly turns into a solid form already. Now we will just reheat this in the microwave or in a stove just to make it into um, a liquid form again just like this i remelted in the microwave for um 10 seconds interval until um it's liquid again just like this make sure that this is not hot before adding this to the pineapple jelly or else it will melt the um, pineapple jelly but before adding this i will reserve one and a half cups of creamy jelly now slowly add the creamy jelly to the pineapple jelly i'm using the spatula just to make sure that um it falls in gently into the pineapple jelly so it doesn't break the pineapple jelly and then we're gonna place this back in the fridge to set and while this is setting we're gonna move on to the last layer so this is the reserve one and a half cup of pineapple jelly and then this is the one and a half cup of creamy jelly we're gonna mix this together and then we will just wait for the um the jelly in the fridge to set it's really really cold in melbourne at the moment so everything is setting pretty quickly than the usual so this i will remelt in the microwave just to make it liquid again so we're gonna um, pour the last layer into the into our jelly same procedure as we did before make sure that it's not hot At this point, we will let this sit in the fridge for about minimum of 4 hours or overnight. So I decided to unmold my jelly after about 4 hours. Overnight is best. So um, my hands are clean. Um, I'm gently pulling the jelly away from the pan. Lightly tilted so it pulls away even further. just like this don't forget to um don't forget the middle as well and it, you can use hot water dip the pan in hot water as well that's easier but be careful not to melt the jelly and this is the finished product I hope to give this a try this is really easy to make you'll be surprised i'll put the link below on where i get the um, pan if you want to purchase this and just to show you what the jelly looks like when you cut it oh uh, did i mention that this is really good you won't regret making this i hope that my instructions is clear enough and you can follow if in case um you have any um questions please write it down in the description box below and thank you so much for watching and i really appreciate your support to my channel i'll see you again next week bye